So it would actually help to take a little, a little look at a sketch. So we've got the time 2 o'clock and this car says that it's going 30 miles per hour. And then we've got at 10 minutes later to 10, it's going 50 miles per hour. And we're talking about a continuous function because velocity, if you're going to speed from 30 miles an hour to 50 miles an hour, think about looking at your speedometer when you drive, it's going to cover everything in between. It can't just suddenly skip 31, 32, 33, 48, 49, 50. You've got to go all of those velocities in between, so it's a continuous function. You may not do it smoothly, so it may not be just a straight line as you speed up evenly. You might go vroom and then slow down and then go vroom and eventually, 10 minutes later, you're going 50 miles an hour. Then this is a perfect setup for the mean value theorem. It says if you have two points and you've got a continuous function, then you can take those two points and find the slope of the line that goes between those two points. So the slope would be, so the rise would be 50 minus 30, and that's in miles per hour. And then this would be 2, 10 p.m. minus 2 p.m., and that's in minutes. So it would be 20 miles per hour was sped up over 10 minutes. So then the mean volume theorem says you take the slope of that line and there has to be a place somewhere in there when the slope of the tangent line or the derivative is the same. Well, when you've got a velocity and you take the derivative, you then get acceleration. So we'd have the original function would be distance, the derivative would be velocity, and the second derivative would be acceleration, how fast the velocity is changing over time. And then since this one is over time and this one is over time, again, we get the result. It's over time squared, hours squared. Okay, so there has to be at least one place. In this, there would be one, two, three places where the tangent line is parallel to that original line that we found. But there has to be at least one place where that slope is equal to that slope. And we just found it over there. Now, how do we get 120 out of that? Well, this is in hours, and this needs to be changed to hours. So we've got 20 miles per hour, which is being divided by 10 minutes is 1 -sixth of an hour. And then to finish this, we would need to multiply by 6. And there's the 120. And we would need to divide by hours. And there's the hours squared. So it's 120 miles per hour per hour. Acceleration.